Warning, the following video is so manly that it can make a woman grow a beard. So if you are a little Justin Beaver, proceed with caution. What is up my fellow beasts? On today's video, I'm bringing you all the deadly attachments in the Call of Duty game since Call of Duty 4 until Advanced Warfare. And I want you guys to tell me which one is your favorite, which one is the best. And I'm a little bit curious to see what you guys like using when it comes to deadly attachments. I'm not talking about extended mags, red dots or target finders or whatever that crap is. I'm talking about deadly fucking attachments where you equip those motherfuckers on your rifle or on your whatever it is it depends on the call of duty and you just go ham making the enemies be like what the fuck was that thing so these attachments gentlemen are the grenade launcher the flamethrower the undermount shotgun or master key it depends on the call of duty and finally the little bayonet now let's start off with the grenade launcher which is in my opinion the most hated uh, attachments in all call of duty games uh, it's the most hated attachment in all call of duty games now the grenade launcher as crazy as it sounds even though it's so hated and people cry about it you know all the time it is available in all call of duty games it's available in call of duty 4 world at war mw2 black ops mw3 call of duty ghosts black ops 2 advanced warfare all Call of Duties have this piece of crap. You know why? Because they need to give a weapon to the little noobs. Otherwise, they're going to be raped. Little Jimmy's going to be raped if he doesn't use his grenade launcher. In MW2, that thing is just... It's crazy. It fires Predator missiles. Especially if we equip it... If we equip it with the um, one-man army which allows you to have infinite grenade launchers and also danger close which gives which gives uh, the grenade launcher its crazy damage like a predator missile now <laughs> this thing people it's crazy on this match i went 25 and 1 i got i went on a 25 kill streak just using the grenade launcher i might upload that thing it's so disgusting i had to wash myself after that match it's just crazy this thing doesn't belong in call of duty because it's cheap you know, it takes no skill, it's for the noobs. In Battlefield, it's alright. You can destroy a, an entire wall and, uh, you know, switch to your, to your weapon and kill uh, the enemy. But in Call of Duty, you can just break fucking windows. This thing doesn't belong in the game. So, um, I hate this motherfucker. Next we have, gentlemen, the badass... The fucking flamethrower. Now, this thing, as I said, it's badass. Only a badass motherfucker has the ability to use this thing and go ham, which is what I did right here. I went like on a nine kill streak or something like that with a flamethrower. And the, how do you go on a kill streak with this thing? It only has like two canisters, and they go and they you go very fast out of ammo when you use it. Well, there's a little glitch, gentlemen, that you can use. If you don't let your canister go out of ammo, and if you pick up an enemy weapon from the ground, and uh, then pick up your weapon again, your canister will be full, and that's what I'm doing here. Pay attention. I just keep doing this thing uh, all the uh, all this entire clip. And uh, this is this this attachment is only available in Black Ops One, and also in World at War. In World at War, it's a little bit different. It's like a perk or something, but uh, it's only available in two Call of Duties. Why? It should be in more Call of. Duty. I want this thing in all Call of Duties. I want to be a fucking badass running around burning people alive like this motherfucker here, taking a shit in a, on a corner. As, as you can see, I'm doing that glitch again, and that is great because if this glitch was not available, then the flamethrower would have sucked ass. But this way, it's just fun. I love doing 360s with this thing and killing the enemy. It's epic. Next, we have the master key, gentlemen. And I also go on a terror with this thing. I get like 90 kills with this thing. It's just, it's biblical. Now, the master key is only available in four Call of Duties, which is definitely better than just two like the flamethrower. But <clears throat> it's available in MW2, then also in Black Ops, and uh, also in MW3, and finally in Call of Duty Ghosts. So, I love using this thing, people. It's a shotgun you can equip under the barrel of your uh, uh, weapon. And uh, it's definitely great for weapons that, uh, like, uh, like the M16, like a three-round burst or a single shot. It's great for those weapons beca because when you go into buildings, this and that, you can just put that thing on and go like Terminator mode. Just use that thing to destroy uh, the enemy. I love it. Now, um, the range, this and that, the range, the, uh, the damage. The damage is good up close. You'll still get a few hit markers. You only have like four shots. So it's definitely not overpowered and uh, it takes a little bit of skill to use you got to think a little bit i mean you can't just go out in the open and uh, try to kill some you know uh, an enemy like you can do with this past 12 you got to think you got to think man i got to stay inside buildings this and that look at this shit 
I, I, it took me three shots to kill that motherfucker. And he had his ass turned against me. I mean, he was fucking on the fences right there. The only way to defend himself was by farting or something. And even though I don't think he would have, <laughs> would have been uh, able to survive that situation. But right here, look at this shit. Boom, sit down, son. What are you doing? Don't you see that I have a mat? Look at that. I'm just going ham. And I'm thinking, damn, I only got like three shots. I gotta get one kill right here. But boom! Sit the fuck down. <laughs> Sit your ass down, son. Did you see that shit? It, it seems that if you jump and fire at the same time, uh, the range will increase a little bit, which is uh, definitely great. And I, right here, I have two, two shots, and I'm like, I gotta kill this motherfucker with uh, one shot at least. But I still get two kills which was great finally we have the bayonet and again i go on a little terror with this thing i get like nine i go on a 10 kill streak or something like that with the bayonet which is crazy this thing is just a knife you can equip on the barrel of your rifle Ooh! did you see that jump shot jump shot no jump knife oh that was amazing now this thing is like knifing only like only use me blade does but it's even better because you don't have to pull out of your knife the knife is already there ready to go on the uh, barrel of your uh, rifle and look at that i just love using this thing i hate those little things those little letters on the screen i don't know client we can hear client whatever what the fuck is that thing i mean who puts that thing on the screen Oh my god. But anyways, gentlemen, this is definitely a great attachment. I would uh, I would love to see all these attachments in more Call of Duties, but unfortunately, they just want to bring the grenade launcher. Yeah, take the grenade launcher, guys. It's it's great. I mean, it's everyone loves it. I don't know why they do it, but um, as you can see, I'm running, seeking for blood, and I get it. I get my blood. <laughs> and I just love using... So tell me, gentlemen, tell me which one is your favorite attachment. I'm going to tell you right now that I'm... I love the Master Key. It's very close to the Flamethrower, but I gotta give the Flamethrower second place. Next, we have the Bayonet in third place, and finally, the Grenade Launcher in last place. 